get out of here, and then I'll let Ali give a quick demo of the app, and then I'll come and explain the orchestrations, and then let Ali explain the uh, mobile app side again, same as we just did for the inventory transfer. So, Ali, I'll pass it back to you. Sure. Okay, let me know if you can see my screen now. Yes, I can see it, and it looks better, too. Okay, hopefully it's much brighter now. Okay. Yeah, okay. it is, it is, thank you. Okay, good. So we've got the purchase order approval app. So let me show you how this looks first on the, how you, let me log in first on this. So I'm gonna log in as a user who's responsible for approving the purchase orders. As you log in, I've got a dashboard with some orders awaiting approval. So for now, we've got three here that are awaiting approval. Right, I'm going to click on one of them. So it's going to pull up the order information. And I've got a, I've thrown in a button here for approving the orchestra uh, for approving the purchase order. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to actually call that orchestration uh, that Larry is going to discuss. Um, and it's going to change the status for it and move it to the next point. So once I do that, you see the peer recognition approval. And when I go back into this list, it's going to show me a count of two now. So the one that I just approved has actually been approved. Over to you, Larry. All right. Let me share my screen again. <clears throat> so again, just to wrap up on the JDE side, there were three previous three purchase orders for Eflux before, right? So there's 798, 799, and 800. And if I just click the find again. It's updating that 798 drops off because it's now been approved, right? So it's not, it's no longer in this queued for approval status. <clears throat> so let's take a look at it and see what's happening on the orchestrator side. First thing is getting the list of POs. <clears throat> so I have a simple form request here. And inside of this form request, it, it, it doesn't get much simpler than this, right? When you come into this form, it already pre-filters the form for you based on your user. So you saw when I jumped in before, it was already pre-filtered for, I'll come back and show it. It was actually, I changed this to, to the asterisk, but it was originally for my user ID uh, associated with me, and there was no records there. Um, but it, this is going to default to whatever your user ID is. So if I was logged in as eFlux, um, it would just filter for this approver number. So this is what it would what it would look like, right? The two that are open right now. So I simply click find, so it would bring those two back, and then I'm returning the form data. And I'm returning all this information. So whole code, order number, order type, order company, date, supplier, and the amount, right? So that gives you the purchase order information. Of course, you could add any other field that you'd want to see in there and, and have that show up in the app. Then the second part of this is actually approving the PO based on all that data. So here's our PO approval orchestration. Again, one form request, very, very simple orchestration. And inside this form request, we're first finding the, the PO number and selecting and going into it. On that second screen, we're just clicking the approve from the form exit, like I showed you before. And then that's it. Nothing else is even happening on that third screen. So. Both of these orchestrations are very, very simple. I did both of them with the process recorder, so it took less than five minutes to do each of those orchestrations. Um, and then from there, Ali is able to take them and hook them up into Swift and create those, those nice forms and uh, hook up, more, more importantly, hook up this PO approval functionality in the mobile app. So I will once again stop sharing and let Ali um, go ahead and take us through the Swift side of the application that's calling these these orchestrations. Sure. Thanks, Larry. Sure. So, so let me show you how how easy it is to build this purchase order approval application. Again, you just hit create, create a new application like we've done here. When you go inside this application, you can again define different dashboards and different listing forms. And different action forms, right? So it's as simple as this. You go again, like if I want to pull up this P4381, I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna select this application from there. I'm gonna select a version. In this case, I'm gonna select 
this one and then I'm going to select the form. Give me a quick sec, let me pull up the form name here. I'm going to pick this one up. And we're going to give it a name. Click submit. So as soon as, soon as I do that, I can go in there. I would have a full search criteria designer for me for that listing. I can again enable caching if I want to. I can choose which fields I want to show on that form. Click submit. As soon as I do that, I have a I would have a listing form. So if I go back here into the Swift app for purchase order approval, I've got this, I've got this orders awaiting approval as you can see here. So these are the fields I can select, just like I was doing there. So I can go into an application, select whatever fields I want to show here. Those are going to instantly reflect on this grid. Now, if I want to make any of these fields as clickable, because I want to look at the details of that order and I want to throw in a button to approve that order. So here's how you do it. So again, very straightforward. What you do is you create a view action form, right? And very easy to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click import. All I need to know is my P application that I want to get data from. This case is gonna be P43081. I'm gonna select that. Again, I'm gonna select the first, I'm gonna select this version. And the form I want to show is W43081B. So you can either remember the name of the form or just the code. I'm going to call it PO detail, or let me just call it PO detail. Click import. Now it's Swift is going to do its magic. It's going to get all the metadata from your JD Edwards. It's going to create all the controls. It's going to get all the business logic inherited automatically from your JD AdWords within a matter of few seconds. So just gonna create a PO requisition approval form. Um, just give it another few seconds. While, while we're waiting for that, I could just jump in and say, you know, the, the beauty of Swift is that you can create these mobile apps by kind of going through the forms and applications, forms and versions directly, or by using the orchestrations, right? So like here on this app that Ali showed, we're doing the, the PO retrieval through, through the application, but you could certainly do the same thing from by calling the orchestration, getting all the data back from that and displaying that. And then yeah. here, of course, we're showing the approval through the orchestration, but for that, you could do it the opposite way as well and just go through all the form events. So it's very flexible and dynamic in terms of, you can do it through orchestration, through the applications directly, a combination of both. Um, it, it gives you the flexibility to do whatever makes sense for that particular set of requirements. Yeah, thanks Larry for that. So now uh, this PO detail has been created. But you'll notice all the fields have been imported from your JD AdWords, right? And not just that they've been imported, they've already been integrated with your JD AdWords. You see these control IDs, they've already been mapped already been integrated. So if I want to map this back into my listing, like, like I said, I want to click on the order number. I want to pull up this form. So this is the form we just created, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go back here. I can go into my listing. It's very straightforward how you map this detail form where you're gonna have an orchestration button with your listing form. So for example, I want to map order type with this new PO detail form I just created. I'm gonna select order number because that's the parameter it, it, it needs in order for it to pull up the right order, right purchase order and save. So just by doing that, now you go back, tell your user to refresh their app. They're gonna have another field which is going to be now clickable. So see this? Now you've got this field clickable. Now if you click on this, it's gonna open up the purchase order detail but we don't have any button to take action. We don't have the approve button as you can see right here, right? Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in an approve button here so that you can click on that button and, and call an orchestration. So again, it's very easy to do that with Swift. I'm gonna go back into my purchase order detail right here. And amid all these controls, you'll find what 
we call action button. So all you need to do is throw in that action button here, wherever you want, want it. I'm going to go inside of it. I'm going to call it approve. So just like uh, Larry was explaining, it's super easy. All I'm, I need to do is select JD Edwards orchestration from here. It's going to pull up all the orchestrations. So I'm going to pick up the PO approval orchestration. It's going to give me the input that the orchestration expects. All I need to do is select the relevant form field, in this case, the order number. Hit close. So now this approve button is going to, going to actually call that orchestration. I'm going to get the order number from this form. So let me, so now all you need to do is ask your user to, to refresh their app or simply load the app again. Now they're going to click on this. They're going to see that new approve button that we just created right here. So this is that approve button we had. So when I'm going to click on this, it's going to actually call that orchestration. I'm going to approve this order number 800. So you see here, then it gets you a nice notification. Again, on all different form factors, real looks really, really nice. If you want it on a mobile, this is how it's going to look. Um, again, you've got a, a nice notification in there. So if you missed that alert that came in when you approved it, you're going to see that. And when you refresh this page, you're going to have this 800 order number removed out of this list right there. So it's extremely easy to, to build Swift apps, as you can see. Uh, all you need to, know, to do is know your JD Edwards and have that functional knowledge of what you're trying to do. So it's, it's, it's a complete game changer in that regard. Similarly, if you don't want to call, uh, uh, if, if you don't have an orchestration ready, but you want to call a direct action, uh, just like Larry was explaining, you could also do that. So you could throw in another button here, and I could actually call this instead of selecting orchestration, I could select JD Edwards, and this is going to pull up all my applications. And I can select any application, and I can select any of the actions that I want to call with that. So it's very straightforward. Uh, even you can connect Swift to any third-party application. So if you have a CRM application, or if you have a purchasing application that is not JD Edwards, it's extremely easy to set up those new connectors in here. So we have an environment where we have connected so many other uh, third-party tools in there too. So if you have CRM, if you have SaaS-based applications, if you have a Salesforce, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, just like you were mapping an orchestration with that button, you could map uh, any third-party uh, cloud-based or on-prem applications, even your custom databases as well, which may be your, uh, outside of JD Edwards. Over to you, Larry. All right, excellent. Thank you, Ali. Um, if you want to stop sharing, sure. I will check out the chat and see for... I know some of you dropped off, well, there's some people dropped off before or after the inventory transfer, but um, for the few of you that are left for the um, PO approval mobile app, feel free to, again, drop any questions into the chat, um, or you feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, happy to have a, a, a discussion about any questions you have about Orchestrator, about Swift, um, or JD Edwards in general. Otherwise, that will conclude our demo sessions. Um, but again, feel free to, to check out all the other information on our booth, um, the Swift product, and um, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.